It's very easy to skip your exercise routine when you have no equipment, no extra cash for the gym membership, and, specifically, no time to do all these things. Fortunately, in this video on PARS Health TV, we have provided a full body training routine that gets around all those hurdles and lets you exercise even at home, so put away any excuses and start right now. Number 8. Spider-Man Push-Up. By using Spider-Man Push-Ups, the body strength reaches a high level. This exercise is a fundamental exercise and helps protect your back. You need a small space to do this. In addition, this move is very simple. To do Spider-Man Push-Up. Get into the regular push-up pose. Place your hand on the floor wider than shoulder width apart so you can better maintain your balance. Touch the elbow to the knee. Lower your body to the possible level. The goal is to touch the knee with your elbow. Control yourself as much as you can. Repeat the movement several times. Each time you do a regular push-up, simply pull one of your knees out and touch your elbow. Repeat this movement for each side. Your chest, triceps, back, shoulders, and forearms are involved. This movement helps strengthen the abdominal muscles and oblique abdominal muscles. Increasing the strength of the legs and back muscles is also one of the properties of this movement. Number 7. Pike to Superman. To make this motion, fold your hips and roll the ball towards you. Then, your torso will be vertical. Roll the ball back. Then, roll the ball to the top of your legs so that your body is straight in a line and that your arms are stretched over your head but still on the ground. You have to look like Superman when he flies down. All of these steps involve a round of movement. With the help of your large back muscles, stretch yourself to return to the push-up position and start the next round. This motion is one of the best six-pack exercises and one of the hardest. Number 6. Push-ups with rotation. Doing the regular push-up and adding a second exercise is a wonderful way to increase the energy expenditure of a bodyweight workout. In this example, a rotation has been added to the end of the movement. This demands a level of balance but can be perfect practice for stability and flexibility. Here is how you can do a push-up with rotation. Start in a push-up position with your feet and toes on the ground and your hands set slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Draw in your navel and tighten your glutes. With your back flat, slowly lower your body toward the floor, lowering and tightening your shoulder blades. Push back up to the beginning pose and rotate your body 90 degrees from the floor, fully stretching both arms, one in the air and one on the floor. Reverse the rotation move to return to the starting position and repeat, rotating the direction of rotation. Number 5. Jack Knife. To make this incredible motion, you should lie on the floor. Hands raised above the head. With the squeeze of the lower ab muscles, separate the right arm and left leg from the ground and push upwards. Touch the toes of the left foot with the right hand at the peak of the movement. Return to the starting position and do the movement with your left hand and right foot. Do the exercise 10 times. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. Now, let's dive right into the next exercise. Number 4. Dead Bug. Dead Bug movement effectively burns the fat under the abdomen. It prevents the bending of the back due to keeping the spine stable. To begin the movement, lie on your back and place your arms on either side of your body. Then raise your legs off the ground and bend your knees to be at a 90 degree angle to your thighs and parallel to the ground. Raise your arms up where they are in front of your face to perpendicular to the body. Then extend your right leg forward so that it is parallel to the ground and a few centimeters from the floor, and at the same time, extend your left arm to the back. Return to the first position and do this movement with the opposite hand and foot. Number 3. Side Squat. It's essential to work in all planes of movement while exercising. That means not only front and back but side to side as well. Start this motion with your feet shoulder width apart, then put your arms down at your sides. Start to hinge at the hips, 
Then bend your knees, stepping your right foot out to the side and raising your arms in front of you to a relaxed position. When your thighs are parallel to the floor, stand up straight, and put your left foot to meet your right. Repeat, stepping your left foot out and obtaining your right foot to meet it. Number 2. Single Leg Squat. A single leg squat is just a squat on one leg, not to be mistaken with a pistol squat. The main distinction is that the free leg doesn't have to be parallel to the ground in a single leg squat. To do this exercise, stand up with your feet together and your arms out in front of you. Raise your left leg up off the floor in front of you and squat down on your right as far as you can, stopping when your right thigh is parallel to the floor. Stand up, then switch legs. Number 1. Squat Sidekick. Adding a sidekick to squat gives you a one-legged squat experience. This exercise is very effective for hip muscles because it directly strengthens the hips and legs. This exercise also challenges your balance. Get help from a wall or chair to maintain your balance. Stand with your feet flat in the squat position, and when returning to a standing position, bring your right foot straight up and out. Your foot is slightly in front of the shoulder, but from the side, keep your foot the same. Hold to the side and pause. Switch your weight to your left foot and lift your right foot off the ground. Bend your right knee to keep your feet off the ground. Then, you should bring your right foot back to the floor, focusing your weight on both feet. Now repeat this movement on the other side. Do 4 sets with 8 to 10 repetitions. If you have an injury, soreness, pain, or other restriction, Consult with a physical therapist or certified personal trainer about your exercise routine. You can share your ideas and opinions with us and other audiences in the comments section. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Looking for more amazing videos? Check out the videos popping up on the right and the left of your screen.